Hello everyone, Archana is here. Welcome to the 16th session of presentation ICSE Class 9 Paper 1 English Language. In today's session, let us deal with the topic composition, under composition, story writing and picture composition. So you all know that writing an essay or a composition proves to be challenging enough. So here are some tips and strategies on how to organize your writing easily and quickly in order to get full marks for the organization aspect of your essay or composition. So you have to uh, you have to familiarize yourselves with the basic types of composition and advice on how to structure them. So in the examination word limit for the composition is 300 to 350 words and it consists of 20 marks. So the weightage uh, for the composition is 20 marks. Types of composition. So composition can be broadly categorized into two types. The first one, factual or expository composition. So factual composition present bare facts with accuracy and they do not require any imagination. So it's fact, you have to deal with the fact. So they require logical presentation but in an interesting manner to retain the reader's attention. So they normally do not have the writer's opinion or feelings. So examples of such composition are importance of sports, preparing for exams, etc. etc. Second type, imaginative composition. So imaginative composition require the student to imagine a particular situation or an event and then express it in an interesting manner. So, which may be serious or light-hearted in nature. So, the ideas have to be original in such compositions and a number of styles can be introduced. There is absolute freedom of thought and expression in such composition. For example, uh, under this imaginative composition, if I had wings, it's imagination, if I had wings, how, uh, how free I would be, etc, etc. The great escape, etc. So, imaginative compositions can be further categorized as narrative compositions, descriptive compositions, argumentative compositions, reflective compositions, critical compositions and short story. So, composition and essay is one and the same. First, narrative composition. A narrative composition contains the narration of an event or a series of events in a comprehensive manner. So the word narrate, narrate means to give an account of or to relate what you have seen and witnessed something from your own experience. The composition comes under the example a train accident, a memorable wedding, etc. Next, descriptive composition. Compositions of this type portray a vivid description of some person, place or thing. You have to describe a person or a place or a thing. So, the observatory skills of the writer and an interesting presentation of the same make such compositions interesting. So, example of such essays are a dream, your favorite vacation, etc. Argumentative essays or compositions. These compositions convey the views of the writer for or against a particular idea. So, for or against. So, they are argumentative and persuasive in nature. A frank opinion considering 
both sides of the subject should be given and it should be backed by facts and logical reasoning so the strengths of the subject should be highlighted and the weakness of the opposing side should be exposed so example should private coaching institutes be banned cell phones are becoming a nuisance reflective essays or compositions these compositions reflect on the thoughts and ideas of the writer on particular subjects so in such compositions the thinking of the writer has to be conveyed on abstract topics and this is more difficult than writing compositions based on visual and factual experiences so example walking in the rain a friend in need is a friend indeed next critical compositions or essays critical essays or compositions are that offer an analysis interpretation and or evaluation of an argument a political situation a social phenomenon a historical event a written text a literary work a movie or a performance subject so the writer expresses his opinion on such essays so to write such an essay or composition you should be fully conversant with the facts and have knowledge about all the aspects of the subject for example uh, write about a recently released book or film critically analyze the report on poverty in india so you should be knowing the current facts it might be general or social uh, political economical etc etc any kind short story next type of composition a short story is a brief work of literature usually written in narrative prose okay a short story features a small cast of named characters and focuses on a self contained incident which forms its plot so the story should be original and concise and the ideas should flow smoothly and the description should be as real as possible examples of titles of short stories are the brave soldier the haunted cottage etc so importance of categorizing compositions so compositions are categorized to help us in forming our thoughts before attempting or writing the essay or composition so it helps us to improve the composition and also helps us to understand the types of compositions we are more comfortable with so for example some people have a flair for descriptive writing while others are good at argumentative writing so it's your choice of selecting the composition so you will be having a uh, five types of compositions five questions and the question number 1 in the board examination out of five you have to select one composition and write the answer so here in today's session we are going to deal with two types of composition that is story writing and picture composition first let us deal with story writing story writing is a creative art but rather a difficult one so it requires a lot of creative thinking planning and mastery of narrative skills and language a short story is a narrative of moderate length that revolves around a single incident involving one or more characters so it must have a proper beginning middle and 
an end so a story needs to be well planned and written in an interesting manner so your steps to write a short story so there are no specific rules for writing a story but there are countless ways to create an interesting one however the writer should keep the following steps in mind while writing a short story so to write an interesting story the writer must think like the central character to get or catch his or her emotions and qualities second thing you have to keep it in the mind as a story is a short description of any scene or incident the details should be mentioned creatively to develop readers interest so catch the character's emotions and qualities third step while building the plot of the story the writer should make sure that the sequence of events is proper to avoid confusion and complexity next a very important part of the story is an apt ending perfect ending to add significance to it so a justified climax is an unset expectation of the readers so there are few points to be kept in mind while writing a story so before writing concentrate on the topic and story outline story should be written in an easy and comprehensible language so the style of writing should be lucid and logical so events should be chronologically organized in the story so keep the story in past tense however as per the requirement present or future tense uh, can also be used but you have to keep this in mind you have to keep the story in past tense only if necessary according to the requirement of the story line you can use present or future tense so focus should be only on the incident and also keep twist to your story to keep the readers intact and consequences or climax of the story should be clear and satisfying picture composition the picture composition is usually divided into three patterns where you are asked to describe a picture given or make a story out of it or to express and elaborate upon the thoughts and feelings suggested by the given picture the picture can be a photograph an action scene a quote written over a picture or a scene or a sketch of a famous personality so the composition is written in three different forms so as to highlight this uniqueness so it requires a wide range of imagination creativity good hold on vocabulary and the ability to sequence all events together come let's learn the following points which has to be followed uh, for picture composition you should look at the picture carefully to ascertain the basic plot or the theme if the picture doesn't suggest anything evidently you are advised to invent a theme which bears a direct connection with the picture after identifying or deciding the theme major attention should be given to the designing or molding of the characters of the story so it can be both presented as an autobiography and biography the composition must have an atmosphere moralistic view and a strong climax so description of the picture so the picture should be studied carefully with a view to identify the specific 
and minute details. The focus should be widened to take into account the other or peripheral details given in the picture that is facial expressions, postures, cloths, etc. Design the factors or causes which have an impact on the details and a strong conclusion is required at the end of the composition. An account based on the picture. So here you are required to give an account of what that picture suggests you. Okay. So here are some points uh, should be taken care while writing an account of the picture. First one, introduction. A brief introduction of the picture, what it suggests and its effect on the people and the environment. Second one, body or context. So the ideas and uh, thoughts that you receive from the picture should be mentioned and linked in a correct and meaningful sequence. And the last one, conclusion, very important thing. Bringing the composition to an end with carefully rounding off uh, the thoughts, feelings and returning to the specific subject. There are few points to be kept in mind while writing a picture composition. They are the content chosen must be directly related to the given picture while attempting picture composition. You should be very careful if you are going to attempt picture composition, you should be mentioning the content which must be directly related to the given picture. You must maintain the connection and the focus between the picture and the content. The full structure of the composition should be analyzed in the mind before starting the writing based on picture. And as the word limit is going to range between 300 to 350 words, you must try to spread out your ideas so that there is variety of ideas in your composition. Use of simple language and imagination is required. Logical expression of the entire idea based on the picture will make it an effective composition. So students, here we have winded up today's session. Please keep the points whatever we have discussed in today's session in your mind while writing the composition. Thank you all.